how are you doing? Yes, I am a hot mess again today. That's okay. That's okay. Ooh, I'm getting a little bit drained with this working, guys. Oh, my God. When I don't even feel like doing my face. <sighs> Sucks. Anyway, let's talk a little bit about Nikita Dragon and why the hell I am glad that girl ain't my friend. Mm -mm. So, her tweet, I watched Ashley Kyle's video, so credit to Ashley Kyle. Um, always credit your sources, kids. Always, always, always. Or if you do commentary on somebody's video, I always name the video that I watched. So anyway, hop on over to there if you'd like to see what I'm referencing. I'll wait. Are you back? I'm kidding. So she, the tweet that she made about that um, she was going through her footage and somebody had to be escorted out from by security because, uh, you know, they were doing drugs in the bathroom. You felt the need for us to know that why I mean there's a difference between you know spilling some tea or something like that and, and just just being just like no no I mean I and then to sit there and say it's somebody you know really really well it's like are you serious first of all if somebody has a problem with drugs the last thing you want to do is announce it, especially if it's somebody that we know a lot. And then you're throwing all your friends like into a into a train wreck. You just are because everybody's going to be speculating who it is, which is wrong. I mean, I wouldn't want to be her friend and people thought, well, was it me? Was it me? Because, you know, obviously it's somebody that we know really well and we know the list of people that were. And it might not be like someone like like Laura or Manny. Maybe we're not, you know, it might be outside of the ballpark of them and somebody else that we know really, really well. But again, I wouldn't have wanted to be in that party and be well known and her have that tweet out because everybody's going to be speculating on who it is. And that's just horrible because to me, that's like... If you announce to somebody to make this announcement that you had this big party and somebody had to be escorted out that they because they did drugs and we know them really real that's kicking a horse when they're down. I mean that's my opinion. So obviously this person, whoever it is, is doing drugs. You know that's already ruining their life. Guaranteed, it's already ruining their life. So now you're going to go ahead and, and you know expose them and ruin their life a little bit more. For why? For what? To spill a little tea? I, again, I'm glad she's not my friend because now there's going to be people, you know, that are going to be, you know, accused. Is it you? Is it you? Or people that just don't need that kind of attention to themselves. And I seen a um, tweet by um, Ashley, to, or Ashley, I'm sorry, Allie. That she said, you know, and it is true, the internet is very swift and people will find out who it was. And then that person is going to have to not only deal with their drug addiction, but dealing with it, everybody knows. And in my opinion, that really is kicking a horse when it's down. And I don't think that's right. And she should be ashamed of herself because you can't take that tweet back. You can't. I mean, I don't know where in her mind she was thinking, ooh, check this out. I found this on my footage. Let me tweet about it. Girl, I, I, I just can't. I mean, I, I, I just can't. And she should really be ashamed of herself because she put a lot of her friends in a line that they probably don't want to be in. You know, there's people that are obviously innocent. And I just think it was a really shitty thing for her to do. And I think she should apologize to every one of her friends like, if she didn't already, but she should apologize. And she said, oh, it definitely wasn't Tana Mojo. Okay, well, thanks now that we're, are we going to play the hot gold, you know, the hot cold game too? Or are you going to say getting warmer, getting warmer? Thanks for doing that. It's like, and then it's just, oh my God. I, I just can't, I, I just can't. And I, I feel sorry for that person. And you know, other people at that party know who it was. And the second they get pissed off at that person, they're going to rat them out. And I just think that's shameful. Or you'll get like a, a David Scissorhands, you know, like, I know it was them. You know, just how, you know how the beauty community can be shady as shit. So if you do something to piss somebody off, I'm just telling you. Oh my God. The... 
anyway, I, I hope whoever it was, I wish them well. And I wish that they get better. And I wish that they're okay. You know, and I wish them help with their struggle with drugs. Because that is a very difficult, difficult thing to struggle with. Um, hold on one second, guys. Sorry, I had to give the dog a cookie. <laughs> so anyway, that is my thoughts on the situation. And whoever it is, I really, really hope they don't get ratted. I really don't because... They don't need that in their life. You know, they're already dealing with a situation and a problem. They don't need to deal with anything else. So as much as we all like to sit here and say, what's the tea, sis? That's not tea. That's that's somebody's struggle. That there, There's a difference. So um, I seen in my video that I made about Rich Lux um, and the Peter Mon. A lot of people asked, to be honest, I did not watch the. I watched just like a minute or two of the Peter Mon with Thomas Halbert. And people are, at, you know, I've seen a few comments on what are my feelings about that. And I got a few DMs on Twitter, um, people asking me how I feel about that. <laughs> there are a lot of people that like Peter Mon, and that is absolutely fine. Every Somebody's always, you know, maybe you don't like somebody that I like, and maybe I don't like somebody that you like, you know. So people have their favorite YouTubers. They just do. I mean, I have my hardcore staples that I absolutely like. Um, I love, you know, um, Dustin and Rich and, uh, Allie and Nick Snyder and, um, Paige, um, not a really big fan of here for the tea, but I see she is coming back, um, to YouTube. So we'll see how she, you know, it rolls with that. Maybe we can grow to love her again. I don't know. You never know. Um, and obviously tea spill, uh, exposed. <laughs> But um, the way that I feel about that is this. That would be like me doing a collab with somebody that I have. Like, I really was upset about the, the collab between Peter and Rich only because of what Peter Mon did to Rich. Like, when John Cookian did that to um, Peter, it was horrible. But he threw Rich... I mean, and I don't mean to be offensive, but he threw him right out into the middle of traffic. I mean, he just did. He sent so much hate his way. And to be honest, myself was included at that time because I didn't know Rich Lux's channel that, at that time. Um, I, and then when I continued to watch Rich and everything, I learned that that was wrong of me. So I misjudged Rich Lux on what Peter Mon did. And that's why I was kind of upset about um, him collabing with Peter is because of that. He sent so much hate his way and he had so many, even like new people, like I was newer to the drama section at that time. And I didn't like Rich Lux because of that. And I think Rich is a very forgiving man. And that's wonderful, but he caused Rich a hell of a lot of, you know, drama at that time where he actually got on camera and, and he broke his character and he cried. And I think that was really, really shitty of Peter Mon to do. And that's why I wasn't a fan that they did that collab. Now, Thomas Halbert and Peter Mon, is it... <laughs> Whatever. You know, it's like, I'm sure Peter is trying to, you know, rescue his dying channel. Just like me, I'm trying to grow my channel. And I've had help by Nick Snyder. Thank you so much. Again, I will thank him a million times and over. But I have some help, you know, I've had some help by some, you know, wonderful YouTubers that I enjoy and that I love. But, you know, Peter, like me, I'm trying to grow where Peter is trying to resurrect. But... If I were to sit here and, you know, judge people or to say that I'm PR and then go and, um, like Peter just kind of salted me the wrong way where he always was trying to, like, I, I thought it was funny. I made a tweet that he's trying to comfort, you know, Dustin's name, the social climber. But what I didn't like about Peter is that he was so desperate for, like, he would say, oh, I want to be their PR. I want to be their PR. Like, he would do anything just to pounce. Like, I'm not trying to pounce and, you know, like, get with, you know, collabs with these YouTubers. I mean, I am driving to Florida in November. Or, oh, my God, in November, girl. Uh, oh, by the way, we changed our mind. We're going to go to Disney. Oh, and my daughter is coming, too. All my kids are going to be there except for one. My son can't go. My um, 
24 year old son he can't go because he's a bridge painter and that is peak season for him so he won't be able to go so that's a bummer um or i think he's bridge i don't know what he's doing but he's doing like outdoor stuff that he changes his job but he does seasonal stuff anyway so it is peak season for him so he won't be able to go at that time anyway moving along when I drive to Florida, I'm going to be stopping at Nick Snyder's door. And I'm teasing. I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm going to come with Bentley treats. You know, I'm so totally kidding. But no, someone trying. He seems to kind of like chase. He, he's chasing them. And, you know, he's trying to. He's making it obvious instead of it just being naturally, you know, like people really liking you and reaching out to you and saying, hey, I, I want to collab with you or whatever. It is wonderful for YouTubers to collab. It is. I mean, Rich and Dustin was an awesome collab. I thought that was great. Um, but it is nice for YouTubers to collab together and, you know, to shout each other out because that's what we are. We're a community and we should be more like a family, like a YouTube family. And you should shout each other out and give each other recognition. But in Peter's case, you know, what he did with um, uh, Rich and, you know, saying, you know, he was a therapist or the tweets that he made. Like, I would never make a tweet about any um, of the people that I take care of at work ever, ever. You know what I mean? I, I just tweet that, oh, I work a lot, but I would never, ever, ever make it because that's just inappropriate in my eyes. But there were some things that Peter has done that would turn me off of him. But anyway, so that is my thoughts about it. You know, with Thomas Halbert, it's to me like he's definitely trying to resurrect his channel little bit of social climbing but hey to each is his own you know if you love peter mon support who you love no matter what anybody says about him support who you love except if you love john cookian if you do please exit exit <laughs> to the left to the left i'm done okay i like to add a little funnies in here too so i really do hope these guys are having a long day sorry for this long rambling video but you know i i love these guys and i'm trying to make my mommy some money <laughs> I am going to be real as shit. <laughs> so I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Honesty is the best policy. Learn from it always. Kisses to all of you.